If you're about to pick up Samurai for the first time and find it a bit overwhelming to get started, then this video is for you. This guide will teach you how to play Samurai in Endwalker at level 50 specifically, including everything from weapon skills to abilities. This guide will not really cover roll actions, as they do not directly affect your attack rotation in a meaningful way. However, take note that they are helpful defensively in each their own way when used situationally. Now then, let's start with your combos. You have three different combo sequences at level 50 with both similar and different uses. Whenever you finish a combo, or more precisely, correctly use the final step of your combo, you are given a Sen according to that combo. These Sen are unique, so doing the same combo twice in a row will not award you a Sen both times, unless you spend the Sen in between combos. We will cover what Sens are a bit later, let's focus on combos for now. Your first combo, Hakase, Jinpu, Gekko, gives you a 10% damage bonus called Fugetsu caused by Jinpu, as well as the Sen, Getsu. Additionally, Gekko does extra damage when performed from behind your target. Your second combo, Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, gives you a 10% reduction in weapon skill recast times, caused by Fuka from Shifu, as well as the Sen, Ka. Additionally, Kasha does extra damage when performed from the side of your target. Your third combo, Hakase, Yukikase, simply gives you the Sen, Setsu, and does not have a positional. The general rotation revolves around bringing both of your buffs up as quickly and efficiently as possible, and then keep refreshing them throughout the fight. Because the Shifu buff makes your attack faster, it is recommended to apply this one first, outside of cooldowns. I will explain what I mean by this a bit later. Focusing on just your weapon skills, this means that your opener in a fight could look something like this. Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, Hakase, Jinpu. This then leads us to the Ei Jutsus, the Sen Spenders. The weapon skill Ei Jutsu is an action that changes into one of three actions depending on how many Sen you have. It does not care which Sen you have, just how many. If you have one Sen, it turns into Higanbana, a damage over time effect, or DOT for short, that lasts for a long time. If you have two Sen, it turns into Tenkagoken, an area of effect attack, or AoE for short. If you have three Sen, it turns into Midare Setsugeka. While it does a lot of upfront damage and always critically strikes for even more power, Higanbana does significantly more over its duration. Keep in mind that effects like Higanbana actually memorizes your stats at the time of application, a feature known as snapshotting. So, applying Higanbana with Jinpu's Fugetsu active does 10% more damage than applying it without it. Since you cannot pick and choose how many Sen you want to use, you have to use Higanbana when you have one Sen, if you want to use it. How this fits into the rotation is simple. If you have both buffs up and Higanbana is either not active or is about to run out, you use it when you can. If Higanbana is just fine, you can use Midare Setsugeka for a big hit. Using Ei Jutsu does not cancel your current combo, and as such, this means your opener continues as follows. The five actions are seen before, Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, Hakase, Jinpu, and then we use Higanbana, followed by Gekko to finish the combo. At this point, the best option to continue your sequence with is Hakase Yukikase, since both of your buffs are recently applied. Essentially, the rotation loop is to cycle through the three combos in some order to make sure both buffs are running, and to never use a combo if you already have the Sen and won't be able to spend it in time. To break up this sequence a bit, we have the ability Make Your Shisui. It enables you to use any of your combo actions freely three times. More precisely, you can use Jinpu immediately without Hakase, or more importantly, Gekko instantly without having to go through the two prior steps. Using these three actions does however break your existing combo, so try to only use this ability after finishing a combo sequence. The best way to use Make Your Shisui is to only use the combo finishers with it, meaning Gekko, Kasha and Yukikase. In fact, if you want to be the most effective, only use it on Gekko and Kasha. This is because they do the most damage and saves you the most time. Not to mention, Gekko and Kasha will apply the buffs associated with Jinpu and Shifu respectively when used during Make Your Shisui, allowing you to skip that step entirely too. 
For some examples of best practices with Make Your Shisui, you can use it while not having any Zen, followed by Gekko, Higanbana, Kasha, Gekko, Akase, Yukikase, Midare Setsugeka. Or, as another option, if you already have Setsu, the Yukikase Zen, use Gekko, Kasha, Midare Setsugeka, and then Gekko or Kasha depending on which buff you want to apply first. If you have both Setsu and another Sen, you can also start with the Sen you don't have, Midare Setsu Gekka, Gekko, Kasha, and go from there. Spending one of the Make Your Shisui usages on Yuki Kase is also fine. In fact, it is not uncommon to do exactly that at max level when optimizing for burst damage. Just keep in mind that the other options are better in terms of time saved overall, which, outside of heavy raid optimization, automatically results in more damage. Make Your Shisui also gives rise to a much more optimal opener compared to the one described earlier. Start a fight by using Make Your Shisui as you run up to your target, and then use Gekko first, followed by Higanbana, then Kasha, and then Gekko again. The roll action True North can allow you to ignore positionals, increasing the damage of Gekko and Kasha in this opener. Alternatively, if your target will not live for very long, you can open with Make Your Shisui, Gekko, Kasha, Yuki Kase, Midare Setsugeka. The base opener I described earlier can still serve you well for any situation where you either can't access Make Your Shisui, or want or need to save it for something else, whatever reason that may be. The reason we always start with Gekko first when opening with Make Your Shisui is because when these two buffs are added back to back, the benefit of boosting the damage of Kasha outweighs the benefit of casting Gekko quicker. Next, let's talk about AoE rotation. You want to employ AoE rotations when there are three targets or more, and to do that, you have two combo sequences to use. The first one, Huga, Mangetsu. This sequence gives you Getsu, the same Sen as the Gekko combo. It also gives you the damage boosting buff Jinpo applies. Your other combo sequence, Huga, Oka, works the same way, instead grinding Ka and the speed boosting buff from Shifu. On three targets, in terms of raw damage, the EI Jutsu Tenkagoken beats Midare Setsugeka, and on four targets it beats Higanbana. However, in situations with three or more targets, enemies are not likely to survive long enough for Higanbana to be worth it in the first place. This means that your AoE rotation on three or more targets becomes Puga, Mangetsu, Puga, Oka, Tenkagoken. Repeat. Keep in mind that Puga specifically is a frontal cone attack, while all your other AoE attacks are circle AoEs. Position yourself accordingly. Additionally, if you have Make Your Shisui available, you can use it followed by Mangetsu, Oka, Tenkagoken, Mangetsu to get you started. When there are only two targets, the rotation turns into an odd combination of both single target and AoE rotations. Start by getting both of your buffs up, either do it with Fuga, Mangetsu, Fuga, Oka, Tenkagoken. Or if you use Make Your Shisui, use Gekko, Kasha, Tenkagoken followed by Gekko or Kasha. Consider using True North for this. Additionally, if you know either of the targets will live for at least 30 seconds, apply Higanbana to them. This means an opener like Make Your Shisui, Gekko, Higanbana, Kasha, Higanbana, Gekko to apply to both. Or Make Your Shisui, Gekko, Higanbana, Kasha, Gekko, Tenkagoken for just the one. The reason why the AoE finishers are used outside of Make Your Shisui is that the fact that they are one step shorter to get the Sen compensates for the lower total potency. However, during Make Your Shisui, Gekko and Kasha's disadvantage of being three steps is completely removed. Now, once you have gotten your buffs up and applied Higanbana as you need, this is when it starts to get really weird. Tenkagoken on just two targets is more effective than Midare Setsugeka due to dealing nearly the same damage, meaning the main benefit of Midare Setsugeka is its guaranteed critical strikes. This is not worth the effort of a full third Sen though. Since you only need two Sen to do Tenkagoken and your Yukikase combo is objectively better than your AoE combos in every way on two targets, this leads to the following rotation. Fuga, then Mangetsu or Oka, depending on which buff is closest to run out. Then Hakase, followed by Yukikase, and then use Tenkagoken. A clear demonstration of this is as follows. Fuga, Mangetsu, Hakase, Yukikase, Tenkagoken. 
Puka, Oka, Akase, Yukikase, Tengagoken. Repeat. As this combines an AoE attack normally intended for three or more targets with a two-step single target attack, let's call this the 3-2 Tengagoken combo. Let's summarize. For single target, open with Make Your Shisui into Gekko, Higanbana, Kasha to get your buffs and debuffs up. Then you simply cycle through gaining Zen, prioritizing the least recent one. Make your best effort to use Make Your Shisui only for Gekko and Kasha if you can, which typically means using Yukikase just before Make Your Shisui. If you reach 3 Zen, use Midari Setsugeka. An additional tip is, if possible, to apply Higanbana specifically with Hakase, Yukikase, Higanbana. As the shorter combo means that it costs less time to apply, which means more damage over the course of a fight. For two targets, you apply both buffs with Oka and Mangetsu. If either target will live long enough for Higanbana, make sure to use Mangetsu first for the damage bonus. Then move on to the 3-2 Tenkagoken combo. For three targets, you simply alternate between the Oka and Mangetsu combo and finish with Tengagoken repeatedly. Remember, if you use Make Your Shisui on two targets, use Gekko and Kasha in place of Yukikase and AoE combo finishers during it. For three or more targets, using Make Your Shisui simply lets you skip Fuga. To finish, let's take a short look at your defensive options, namely Third Eye and NP. Third Eye is a very weak 10% damage reduction for the first hit within 4 seconds. Once you unlock the Kenki Gauge at level 52, successfully reducing damage with Third Eye will also give you 10 of this resource, worth around 100 potency in damage. Making regular use of Third Eye is really helpful, especially when alone. NP, with its very weak 100 potency, should only be used if you can't reach the target at all. Take note that NP does not break your combo, so if necessary, you can always step away and use NP for a bit for safety. Additionally, keep in mind your character runs about 6 yarms per second by default, so without sprint, in one weapon skill's recast time, you will run about 15 yarms, meaning that using NP as you run towards a target is only really worth it if you run the full distance before your weapon skills are ready again. Now, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and my channel, you can like the video, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when next I post a video. If you want to give even more support than that, you can also become a member of the channel. Fun fact, despite Samurai being known for its incredible burst damage potential, its strongest attack by far is still Higanbana.